<laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, what no, happened? no, no. I don't even really know your name. in the Doomy Gang. I hope you all are having an amazing day because I'm having a not so amazing day. So if I'm having a not so amazing day, you all should be having an amazing happy day. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. As you guys can see, I am so comfortable with you guys on camera now because I have no hat on. I haven't took a shower. I literally just woke up. All I did was wash my face and brush my teeth. And that's a part of the video because today I am going to the worst barber shop in my city to get a haircut. So yesterday I went to the worst restaurant in New York just really really chewy not number one but at the same time I don't know I don't know and it was so disgusting seriously I woke up and my stomach was not feeling too good I'm never doing that again and a lot of you guys were tweeting me to go to the barbershop and it's pretty funny because I was supposed to go to the barbershop today to get a regular haircut from my actual barber but I decided you know what I'm gonna do it for the vlog do it do it for the vlog no seriously do me gang I am high key scared more scared than you guys looking at my hair right now <laughs> I found one of the worst barbershops here in New York anything in New York if it's bad it's really bad if it's good it's really good there's never anything in between this is gonna be so much harder than yesterday's video because this is something that I love which is my hair I want to make sure it's always good and if someone messes up my hair you guys do not understand I'm gonna start scrapping I don't care who you are if you cut my hair and you mess up with my hair I'm fighting you today I mean it is my choice to go to this worst barbershop I like I'm asking for it all right let me read you guys some of the reviews I am not saying the barbershop name I feel bad I don't want to let you guys know that it's like the worst barbershop Shop, but I will read the reviews with you guys. Okay, so the first review is this when you're given simple instructions to not cut the hair at the top, you do it. Mother freaker, yo, if you cut my freaking hair in the top, I'm gonna be a top of you beating the f you don't cut the top short anyways and tell the customer he should either see a doctor or take a razor to his head. I'm never coming back to boom ever again. What? The freak. The barber told the customer that they should go see a doctor or put a razor to their head. What kind of customer service is that? Alright, another review. It says, didn't get what I wanted. Now I'm getting pressured to show my hair. <laughs> This is killing my heart slowly, man. Like, I already wear hats. If they mess up my hair that bad, I'm gonna end up wearing a hat forever. And I know you guys hate that. I do me again. You guys really hate it when I wear hats or cover my hair. You guys prefer me like this instead of a hat. I know that. I know. I know. The owner, which is the owner's name and the name of the barbershop, was very rude when I called to make a visit to his barbershop. You shouldn't be rude, man. You're making money by cutting hair, you know? My son, who's five years old, needed a haircut because his school nurse said there was a possible lice eggs situation spreading among students in his elementary school. Ugh, that's low-key disgusting. Lice? I'm going to a place where they've cut people with lice? Lice? The owner flat out said, I don't know who you are and why you're calling. He then proceeded to hang up on the phone on me as I was trying to explain my dilemma. I've been going to his shop for my haircut since I was a kid. The staff is great, but the owner I dislike. I'm shocked and appalled by the owner and I will never go here ever again. None of my kids will visit this place to get haircuts. This place is trash. I don't expect a $15 haircut to be great. I only come here when I don't have time to go to a professional, but the cut I got today made me cringe. I didn't say anything to the guy instead. I will take this as a lesson to never come here again. A lot of people do that, especially men who get haircuts and whenever their hair gets messed up, they just stay quiet, they eat it up, and then once they leave, they talk the most shit ever. But at the time when they're giving them a bad haircut, they don't really say nothing. But for me, I'm speaking up, man. So hopefully I can make this worst barber give me a fresh, fresh haircut. Maybe I'll be the first to put down a good review. <laughs> worst haircut in my entire life. They let some young kid who seemed like a trainee cut my hair. He had to excuse himself in the middle to get one of the older guys and fix the sides. Unfortunately, once the sides were done, the young guy finished up, not knowing how to even hold the comb and scissors. Terrible job. I wonder if he's even licensed to cut hair in New York. I'm playing with fire right now. Someone left his review three weeks ago. It says, absolute garbage barber. It takes no time to communicate with you or even let you take the time to see your own haircut. It seems as if he's in a rush to get through the day and just get the haircut over with. Never again. Don't recommend this to anyone. Every time I'm reading the reviews, I'm thinking in my head like, why am I doing this? Okay, Doomy Gang, it is time to go to this barbershop and see what's up. I'm really nervous, but I'm also excited at the same time. My brother is gonna take me there. I'm gonna go with the kids. So let's give this vlog a giant thumbs up. And Doomy Gang, can we get 25,000 thumbs up? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Can we do it? Yes, we can. I love you guys. See you guys in the next shot. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm in the car with my fam. I got Arima here. Hi. We got Moss in here. Hi. 
Do you just say the same thing as Rima? Mm -hmm. Yes? <laughs> just copy everything she does. We got Abe Kicks here. Abe Kicks, what up, man? He's feeling kind of sick. And we got Baba Saleh. Baba Saleh, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? So, guys. Right now, Baba Sala, he's taking me to the worst barber shop in, mm. in our city. They're probably gonna give you a bad hairline, like one line over here, one line over here, one line over here, and they shave you all bald. Bald. Don't say that, Riva, because if they give me a bad haircut, I'm gonna be real tight. Do it! Then why did you do it? We doing it for the vlog. We doing it for the vlog. But I bought this hat just in case. If the haircut is really bad, I'm just gonna put on the hat. But I'm really nervous. Hey, do you think I'm making a good decision or no? Bad decision. Why? Never cheat on your barber. Never cheat on your barber? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we're finally about to pull up to the barber shop. Rima, Mohsen. Do you have to count to 1,000? No, 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 no count. 1, 2, Rima, 3! Do not tell anyone in the barber shop that this is the worst barber shop, okay? Okay. Do you ever go there? I never went there, ever. I bet that he's gonna get the worst haircut. Don't tell him that! Or you guys if you ever go. <laughs> No. I don't think anyone would ever want to go to this barber shop. I get yeah. Hey. I want to get a haircut. You sure you want to get a haircut? Hey, you want to give your son a haircut at this barber shop? No, 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 no. Mustin, you sure you, you want a haircut? He already got a haircut like three days and ago. And this is the top. No, 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 no. They're going to end up shaving a bald. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm looking at the barber shop right now. This is unbelievable. It looks so trash. Five dollars for a haircut. What the freak? Oh my god. Five dollars for a haircut? Five dollars? What are we back in 1922? We're about to go inside. Guys, guys, remember, do not say anything, okay? We're gonna go inside. Let's see what's up. Hey, how's it look? How's it look? Old fashioned. <laughs> I'm about to get here. You see what they have? They have a car like for kids. Oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. Mustard is, oh my god, bro. Mustard is gonna like this barbershop. Oh my god, it's gonna be really bad for me, man. My Jeep. I'm about to get me the cut right now. How you doing, man? Doing good? How you doing? Doing great, man. What's up? We out here about to get my cut. Man. What, you wanna take it off everything? Oh, hell no! Oh, no, 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 not take off everything, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just wanna get um, uh, a skin fade from the side and the beard, just a line up and a beard. Just clean, you know? You have cash? Yeah, I have cash, yeah. If you don't have cash, I cut the whole top. Oh my god! No, 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 no. <laughs> don't cut the whole top. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head! <laughs> know what he looks like. <laughs> he looks like Sam Smith. Oh, be careful. I'm gonna cut my, like some of my hair. Yeah, this is in the yeah. bottom. The bottom? This, yeah, this is. I, mean, I, I don't want to cut nothing. No, no, no. Okay. This is, you know what? This is look like uh, under. You know? Under, okay. <laughs> Boy, your hair look like rabbit shit. <laughs> Bowling ball, look at the shine. Boy, I'm on your dumb ass. You look like Gus from Recess. <laughs> 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 what happened? Man? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Do you want to trim it down? Oh, no. Okay, what else? Thank you so much. Bro, he messed up your hair. Oh my god. It's red. Bro, his, oh. his machine was dirty. What the freak? Oh Guys. God. Huh? Huh? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, look at this. Let me see the back. Oh, 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 o
good for? I gave him a five dollar tip. I felt so bad, man. Yo, I was so tempted to violate, but he's a little older than me. Yeah, he's so like I, 16. Yeah, so I wanted to be respectful. I didn't want to violate, man. But like, <laughs> why did I do this, man? Oh my god. Yo, I'm. I demand a wife. Why? Because it's the worst barber shop. All right, guys. So we just got home. I can't even be mad at myself because I went to the worst barber shop ever. So Abe, I'm gonna need you to be my barber. I'd rather you be my barber, man. I got you. And just move like, look, you see, see this man? He left hair, like he left hair here. What the hell, look, look at that. Did he even use a razor on you? Bro, he used no razor at all. <laughs> at all, just like shave here. You, you know which part, right? All right. <laughs> all right, guys, so Abe fixed my hair up a little bit. Seriously, it took this guy like five minutes to do my haircut. I'm not even joking, the haircut was the shortest haircut ever. You should have let me do it in the house. I would have do it for free. Yeah, but still, <laughs> damn, man. No, I gave him 15 altogether. So I gave him $5 extra. Why? Because I gave him a tip, I felt bad. Yeah, but he gave you a bad haircut. Yeah, but I felt, I felt, I just felt bad, Rima. I felt bad. No, you're too nice, you're too nice. <laughs> Still, what? You want attention? All right, Adumi gang, so I learned my lesson. This barbershop is one of the worst barbershops that I've ever been to in my life. I fixed up my hair a little bit, but I'm still not satisfied. I just gotta wait, let it grow, and then go to the barbershop. Once again, my official barbershop, so he can fix it up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Man, doing these worst reviewed videos is, is it's the worst, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, it. all for entertainment. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Do not forget to give this vlog a giant thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe because I upload every single day. Put your notifications on if you guys want to stay updated with my videos. Thank you guys so much for showing so much love all over the comments, Twitter, Instagram. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. I love you. I love you.